Welcome to another video on the I Get Chem channel where we help you learn chemistry the easy way by showing you how to solve problems. Today's problem is on the calculation of the pH of a weak acid solution. Uh, we have a couple other videos on a uh, similar subject, so be sure you check out the other videos on our channel too. So uh, let me read the problem and we will get right to the solution. Uh, calculate the pH of a 1.00 molar solution of HCN. First of all, HCN is a weak acid, so you can look up the Ka value for HCN. Let me first write down the equilibrium. So HCN, acting as an acid, will donate a proton to H2O, making it H3O+. Plus and itself becoming uh, Cn minus. Um, the Ka value is, of course, equal to the H3O plus concentration multiplied by the Cn minus concentration divided by the concentration of HCn, and the Ka value for that is equal to 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. Again, Ka values in different books are just slightly different, so yours might be a little different from that, but magnitude-wise, it should be about the same. So the problem is asking you to calculate the pH of a one molar solution of HCN. So as usual, we will just construct the ICE calculation. So the first line is initial. Uh, initial concentration of HCN spec specified by the problem is one molar. I am going to, as I always do, cross out the H2O because uh, H2O being a solvent has no concentration. Uh, initially, we are going to assume that we have nothing of that, so we can just proceed with the ICE table. <coughs> I am going to just uh, pick a different color for the change uh, because we are going to uh, focus on that one. Um, so in this case, you notice that the reaction must proceed to the right. So the sign for the changes on the left are all minus. The sign for the changes on the right are all positive. Uh, using the stoichiometric coefficient, you see that this is 1. 1 and 1, so we put a 1x, 1x, and 1x for all of them. And finally, we can apply the change to the initial to get the equilibrium value in terms of this unknown x. So this is 1 minus x, x, and x. So fairly straightforward. We can now put those back into the equation x for H3O plus, x for Cn minus, and 1.00 minus x for HCn. At this point, you can just proceed to solve the equation. Uh, this, is a this will yield a quadratic equation, so you can use the quadratic formula to solve this like the other uh, acid-base equilibrium. But for this case, it's actually uh, unnecessary you don't need to go through all the trouble to solve this using the quadratic formula. The reason is because the size of this Ka value is, in fact, quite small. Um, and what that means is that the equilibrium is going to lie far to the left. And that suggests that whichever this change x is in the concentration of HCN is just very tiny. And so what this will do is the HCN equilibrium concentration is not going to be very different from its initial concentration. And we can just simply assume that it's uh, unchanged or changed very little. So with that approximation, then this equation becomes exceedingly simple, x squared on top. And the approximation I'm going to use will just approximate the denominator as 1.00. And that is all equal to 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. 
and uh, that avoids having to uh, use the quadratic formula and the problem is now really simple and you can basically just solve for x let me just write it all out so um, pick a different color so in this case you see that x squared is equal to 1.00 molar multiplied by 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. So you can just take the square root of x, I mean sorry, take the square root of the right side and that should give you x. And so finally you will see that x comes out to be 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5. So here we have made an approximation. The question is uh, how good is the approximation? And we should always check just to make sure that we haven't messed up. So what we want is to compare the value of, of x to the, the, the uh, approximation that we have made. So the 5% rule suggests that whichever approximation we have made should be about 5% of the correct value. So what we want to calculate is this, is this difference between the approximate value and the actual value and we will put an absolute value on that so if we get a negative number we'll just turn it back into a positive number and and this is divided by the actual and so you can do that the approximate minus the actual is just simply the value of x so this is essentially just x divided by 1 uh, molar. Well, the actual is not quite 1, but it's close enough to 1. So this is just approximately x divided by 1 molar. And you see that that is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5, which is uh, way less than 5%. So the approximation is, in fact, good. Let me put a box around that. Okay, so now that we have checked that the approximation we have applied is in fact a good approximation, then we can just finish the problem by calculating the uh, actual pH value. Um, so in this case, the H plus concentration is X, which is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5. So you know the pH is equal to negative log base 10 of that. So if you uh, put that into your calculator, hit the log button and flip the sign, you will see that the number uh, will turn out to be uh, 4.60. Again, if you have watched a previous video on our channel, we've talked about the proper number of significant figures in the pH value. In this case, we choose two digits after the decimal point to reflect the two significant figures in the least precise number in the problem, which is the Ka value. We have said that the digits in the pH value in front of the decimal point uh, do not reflect the significant figures in the problem. Okay, so this is the solution for this problem. Uh, this is quite simple where the Ka value is uh, fairly small and in this case we uh, do not have to use the quadratic formula. So finally, just one last point, sometimes students ask, so how small is a Ka value that is considered small enough for this approximation to actually work? The answer for that is not universal. <coughs> there are two factors that control how good this approximation is going to be. A, it will be the Ka value, but there is another factor that actually controls how good this approximation is, which is the initial concentration of the acid, which you see in this problem is equal to uh, one molar. So rule of thumb that almost always work is if the concentration is about one molar, then the Ka value being 10 to the minus five or smaller is probably good enough. Sometimes 10 to the minus four is even good enough, but then you are right about on the border of it being uh, about 5%. On the other hand, if you have an initial concentration for the acid, which is uh, smaller, in general, the percent dissociation will be
bigger when the starting concentration is smaller. So in this case, you have one, but if you have a much smaller initial concentration, then even a 10 to the minus 5 Ka may not actually give you a good approximation. So in that case, you should uh, check to just make sure your answer is right. Okay, so that's the end of this solution. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you do, please uh, like this video and please do subscribe to the channel so that you will get notified when we have uh, new videos uh, being posted on the channel on other solutions to GenCam problems. Thank you.